Hey guys, and welcome to the next episode of Cooking with Matt. I am Matt Rosewarn. Yes, that's me. And uh, today we're going to be cooking Amber's red rice and beans. Amber is a friend of mine who I met off Second Life, and uh, she loves to watch my cooking shows. And she said, I want you to cook my red rice red beans and rice though there's a there's 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 I don't know if you use kidney beans but we're using kidney beans because we don't actually have anything that's called red beans here in Australia um, and sofrito as well I'm not too sure what that is so we're not going to add that either it does say it is optional in her um, ingredients. So, no, oh, I thought it could zoom. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what what do we need as in ingredients? We need one pound which is half a kilo. Was it a kilo? It's half a kilo. All right. So one pound of bag, one pound bag of red beans soaked in hot water overnight for twelve hours. Um, at least 12 to maybe even 24 hours. Now we didn't have to do that because we got our kidney beans in a can. So they're already soaked. Um, and they've been soaking for a lot longer than 24 hours. Uh, you need one onion, one bell pepper, which also in Australia, a bell pepper is called a capsicum. Uh, one tablespoon of chopped garlic, one teaspoon of homemade spicy sofrito, optional, we're not doing that. Um, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning of your choice, which I need to get out of the cupboard. So here we go, here's the Cajun seasoning. Um, one small batch of parsley. A quarter pack of bacon chopped and one pound of smoked sausage, which is about half a kilo. I think. <laughs> uh, don't, <laughs> don't, 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 uh, I might have that wrong. It might be a kilo. I'm not too sure exactly how much pounds go into a kilo or kilo go into a pound. Uh, as we use the metric system, not the imperial system. All right, so I'm about to show you the ingredients. So here we go, guys. Uh, let's go around. All right, so these are the ingredients that are going into the dish. So we got two cans of kidney beans, red beans. So these are red kidney beans. I'm not too sure if you guys use these, but this is what we're going to be using. All right, there is some spicy sausage already chopped up. Uh, some bacon already chopped up, some ca red capsicum already chopped up, which is called a bell pepper uh, in America, uh, some continental parsley, uh, some onion and garlic. It's all you need. Oh, and the Cajun spice. Okay, so this is the time where we get into the cooking process. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, and welcome back. We're about to throw in, well, in a minute. I need to get something out of there. <laughs> something fell into the water. Okay, so. What we're about to do is we put the, be the beans in here. 
which I've already drained. I've already drained the beans. So what you want to do is you want to get that, bring it to the boil. So we're going to bring that to the boil. Okay, now that we have this at the boil, it's just starting to boil. We're going to add the Cajun and the garlic into that right now. So here is the Cajun. And here is the garlic. Give that a bit of a stir around. Okay, and put it onto a low heat. So there we go. Now, what I'm going to be doing is Alright, we're going to be turning this on now. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be turning this on now. And this is the slow cooker. Now the slow cooker, we'll put it on high. Get it heat up a little bit. While that's just simmering over there for a moment. And what we'll do is that that mix there will go into here for two hours. Smells good. Um, give it a bit of a stir. And put the lid on. And uh, set a timer and we'll be back in about two hours. Hey guys and welcome back to the episode. Um, Amber's red beans and rice. Coming up next, we're about to put in the bell pepper, red capsicum, um, the bacon, the onions, and the parsley. So I'll just go and get that, all that stuff, and uh, we'll put it into the slow cooker. So here's the slow cooker. Alrighty. Stir that around a bit. Add the bacon. Stir that around a bit. So 
So because we've used canned kidney beans and because they've been soaked for a lot longer period, we've decided to cut the cut the uh, cooking time down to an hour and 15 minutes and then add the bacon, add the bell pepper, capsicum, parsley and onion to the to the slow cooker put the lid back on and cook that for another hour and then we'll be back again to add the smoked sausage so see you guys then hey guys and welcome back we're about to add the sausage to this so half an we, we've made it speak to half an hour later so this has been on for about 30 minutes now we're going to add the sausage stir oh oops stir that through All right, so this is what it's looking like so far. Stir those in. As they're smoked, we just need to cook them for another half an hour. On high. And we'll be back again uh, to cook the rice. Hey guys and welcome back. Right now we're going to do the rice. Okay guys, so two cups of water with one cup of rice. I had to use half a cup bloody thing so I couldn't find the one cup. <laughs> Just let that, and as soon when is that when that goes, that and that will be ready. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a stir. Oh, it smells amazing. So we'll be back when the rice is cooked and when the, that is, uh, that's still on high, doing its thing. All right, Amber's red beans and rice. Hey guys and welcome back. So the rice and the red beans, Amber's red beans and rice is almost done. But this is the thing. So. I don't think that what Amber's um, recipe is is going to compare to anything that I've done because we live in two different countries um, and what she, what I'm looking for in the in the beans is for it to be creamy but it's not creamy um, I think it's because we've used different beans. 
maybe we don't have what normally you would use in amber, your dish. So, um, I think it's going to still taste the same. It's just, it's probably just not going to look exactly the same. Just because I'm in Australia and you're in Louisiana. So, um, yeah. So, we're, we're just going to find out and see. Uh, I'm, I, I bet you any money it's going to taste just the same as anything other would. So, uh, I'm guessing it's going to taste really good. So, um, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like so far. And, uh, yeah, so I, because I didn't, I didn't follow all the instructions as I did, I know, I thought the rice just popped. So I, I followed all the instructions. I just took a couple of hours out of what was in there due to the fact that I was cooking it a little bit differently and that the beans were a different kind of bean. Um, you might be using kidney beans, but you're taking them from a packet which are which are hard and soaking them. These beans have been soaked for a long time. I don't know when the can was um, produced, so yeah. I don't know when the beans were canned, so I don't know how long they've been soaking for. It's been weeks, probably months. <laughs> So, okay, um, I'm going to take this lid off. Now, I've got to take the, she did say to take the lid off for 15 minutes. And also to stir every, every and the cooking process also to stir every 15 minutes. Just not so the, um, the food and the beans don't get stuck to the bottom. Alright, so let's show you guys what this looks like so far. So, as you can see, it's watery. So... Um, I don't think it's very creamy, but I bet you any money that that, um, that, uh, soup <laughs> is going to taste amazing. So, uh, even though your, your, yours might come out creamy, mine's coming out soupy. Uh, and I bet you any money it's going to still taste the same. Um, everything seems very much cooked in there, so... We're going to leave it at that, uh, but we're going to leave it there for 15 minutes on off, uh, as it does say in the, in, the, in the instructions, and we're just going to prepare the rice. So, let's put that over there just for a moment. Uh, I want to grab this spoon. Because of that rice is so hot, I'm going to use these gloves. It doesn't have a lid. And get the rice. Oh, oh yeah. Just need to hold that for a minute. Okay. Okay, so the rice is nice and fluffy. Okay, so let's now go over here. Don't need that anymore. Actually, you know what we will do? This is what we will do. We will grab some more of that parsley as a garnish. Uh, she doesn't say to do this. But as a garnish, we'll put a couple of sprigs on top of fresh parsley. Um, in her recipe, uh, sorry, in her recipe, it says to um, serve with cornbread, but we don't actually 
how we have cornbread here in Australia, but I mean we don't. I, I mean we can't buy it from the market or anything. We can make it, but we decided not to make cornbread. Um, okay, so uh, we need to get some plates out for serving. Alright, so we're going to use three bowls to plate. Also going to use a ladle for the serving up. So there we go. Now we just got a garnish on top. Have you been watching that? Have you been watching the UK one? Uh, we've seen it once. Ah.
and we're done. So thanks for watching. You know what to do. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'll subscribe back to you. I'll catch you on the next cooking show, which is actually next next cooking show is viewers choice so what I want you guys to do is go down and get down in the comment section below and ask me what you want me to cook for you so anything absolutely anything and I'll choose someone out of the comments and I will cook your favorite meal or whatever and it all has to be from scratch it can't be packet meals it has to be all real healthy food all right so uh yeah this is on an angle for some reason <laughs> anyway uh so uh yeah uh thanks for watching i'll see you guys on the next episode bye